Uh-huh. The last thing that I wanted to do was mix other people's energy with mine. Like, I needed to regroup and, like, figure out who I was and remember that I love myself and, like, I don't need validation from anybody but myself. And that's really what I did. I, like... I, I started writing again because, like, you know, I used to write constantly in my journal and all this stuff. I started writing again. I just, like, just, like, breathing and, like, remembering myself. And and, and also, it, I think it made me more powerful because when I did go back to dating men, I was coming more from a place of, like, I ain't going to just take whatever I can get. Like, even if you're just going to be my lover, you better fucking step to this and you better, like... You better, like, really, you know, treat me right. Yeah. You know? And have you met somebody since, or? Um, I am dating a couple people right now. A couple. No, I'm not in a serious relationship, nor have I been. I have dated a lot, and actually, it's a joke. Everybody calls me a puma because, I mean, I know Marcos was a few years younger than me, but yeah. it's ridiculous. Like, I turned 28, 29, only 20 to 25 year olds hit on me. And since I turned 30, it's even more ridiculous. Well, don't like, you say that thing like, about, like, um, you know, your sexual peak? So you're at your sexual peak, and for blokes, they're at theirs right now. Guys of, like, 22 and, and, and women of, like, 30 are, are the most compatible. Exactly. So. Exactly. And they fuck, they smell that shit because they come straight to me, like, I guess I'm having fun. Like, I made out with, like, 22 year old on Halloween who's so cute who who lives in San Francisco who's like still calling me and stuff I made out with like a fucking 20 well I'm sort of like actually dating this 24 year old he's really cool he's actually like one of the smartest guys I've ever dated he's a cinematographer and he goes to Europe all the time he actually just got back from Berlin and his name is Damon and he's not that hot but like he's hot to me because he's like super super smart and he's fun to be around and he's very like really evolved for his age so I've been dating him and he's totally like a sexual beast we just I but I I, you know I'm not really looking to get serious with anybody because I'm like I'm a gypsy right now like I'm poised go and like you know I toured the midwest for a few weeks last month I actually like went I drove 5,000 miles in three weeks and like toured and so even with my job I can like I, I sort of just am on the move like I'm trying to I'm ready to go. So the last thing that I want is, like, some guy, you know? Yeah. To hold me back. I mean, if I found real love, cool, like, we'll figure it out. But I'm not staying here for a guy. No. Hell no. So what, where are you living at the moment? Are you still gypsying or are you... Yes, I am gypsying, but I'm living up in the hills. Like, it's pretty funny what happens when you, when you make a leap. The universe has taken care of me. I live right now just for a few months with my girlfriend and her father her father is a really famous um or successful entertainment lawyer and so he's got this really amazing spot up in the hills of beverly hills like wow the hill like it's it's like it's like 90210 girl like up in the top of the (laughs) canyon so i'm looking over like i wake up and i have my green tea and i look over you know It's a pretty peaceful place when you're on the top of the world. Wow.